Caffeine is wonderful. So is ADHD. You put the two together, well, let's talk about that. So what is caffeine? It's a substance that helps make you feel awake. How does it make you feel awake? What it does is caffeine doesn't actually directly make you feel awake. What it does is it stops a chemical called adenosine, which your brain uses to help signal you to your body that it's time to wind down. Caffeine just blocks that. So basically what's happening is caffeine essentially is opening or like holding the door open. Dopamine can come through. But when we get more dopamine, we just tend to feel better. Especially people with ADHD might argue that they don't really feel normal until they've had their cup of coffee in the morning. A lot of neurotypical people have this as well. You know, what's so special about ADHD? We're gonna to get to that in a sec. But with caffeine, okay, so we have a cup of coffee in the morning, it feels great. How much is too much? How much is enough? The short answer is for everybody, it kind of depends, but a medical uh, science can basically agree that somewhere between 300 and 400 milligrams of caffeine is kind of borderline too much. A cup of coffee is about 100 milligrams. So the doctors are saying that three or four cups in a day can be considered okay, but anything more than that is just too much. Now, why is this an issue for people with ADHD? Well, we're low on dopamine. Caffeine is a great way to help us get some dopamine back. In the past, and actually kind of recently cycle, there are some researchers that are considering using caffeine as a treatment for ADHD. Caffeine, it can work in a pinch, can help restore some concentration, it can help some good feelings of dopamine come, it can trick your body into thinking you're not sleepy, so you can try to get some things done. That is one of the things that happens with those of us with ADHD is a lot of times more tired. Now are we tired tired or are we just saving up energy to get things done? Both of those can happen. You're the only one that knows really which it is in the moment. But I do think it's important in the moment to try to decide, okay, am I sleepy tired? Am I ADHD tired? Am I procrastination tired? The main takeaway that I hope you get out of this video is that everything that we do with ADHD really requires us to be the main observers of our lives and figure out what it is that we're doing and seeing if it's working. Well, caffeine up to a certain point can definitely help, but there is absolutely a point where caffeine actually is worse. We've all been there. We've had too much coffee. You get a little jittery. It makes you sick to your stomach, all that kind of stuff. Stuff. If that happens once in a while, no big deal. You learn from it. You just either try to get the sleep you need or just know that, okay, I've had three cups of coffee. I don't, any more of this is actually going to get in the way of my day. Now, how does that happen? A little bit of caffeine actually increases like short-term working memory. So that means you can get, you know, simple tasks done. But when you have too much caffeine, it actually, the curve goes back down. It actually inhibits your available working memory. For those of us with ADHD, our available working memory is a little bit less available than someone who's neurotypical. We got to be careful with this is basically what we're coming down to. Caffeine can be helpful to get you started in the morning, but it, when you get to a certain point, it can actually have a negative effect. How does this practically apply to life? Okay, first of all, we've got to be able to understand ourselves. We kind of know what's going to work. If we getting into a routine, you know, with ADHD is very difficult to do, but it is possible. But also if we back up and we look at what we're finding as a routine, it makes it a little bit easier to do and it feels like less of a job. I don't know about you, but with my ADHD, routine kind of sounds like a job. If the routine is you get up a couple cups of coffee and then you're fine and you're on your way, great. If you're having one of those days though where you are off and you know what I'm talking about, there's no amount of caffeine that is going to make you feel better. In fact, there is a very specific amount of caffeine that's going to make you feel worse. That's somewhere between 300 and 400 milligrams. That means anything more than three or four cups of coffee, if you're having an ADHD spin out day, just stop because more is actually going to make your ADHD spin out day worse. If you've had that day, you know, what we need on you know, days like that is whatever your coping strategy is, whether it is a nap, exercise, especially if you've got some important things going on at work, school, or whatever it is that you're doing that day, it can be uncomfortable. Just realize that more caffeine is actually contributing to your discomfort. Huge caffeine fan here, but just like everything else that happens with ADHD, we tend to want to be on the extremes of things, but caffeine, if we stay right in the middle, if we hit the sweet spot of it, it is something that can actually be very helpful for those of us with ADHD. Sometimes people think, well, if some is good, more is better. No, it's not. It's actually worse. I hope this helps. Put your strategies in the comments. What are your tips and tricks? What have you found? Like and subscribe, share this with people. The whole point of these videos is to try to help share things that I've learned along the way. I'm not an expert. I'm not a medical doctor, but I'm just a person that had a very late detection of ADHD, trying to help other people figure some things out a lot sooner than I did. 